As Windy City members know about the brand experience that you create. And as speakers, we've got to create a brand experience and a customer experience that has people saying, wow, I want to listen to that lady again or I want to listen to that guy again. So when I'm talking to audiences about brand experience, I will ask a question. What do you think my favorite drink is? Yes. 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 That's <laughs> ethnic profiling, by the way. <laughs> But it actually is <laughs> my favourite drink by a long shot. Just out of curiosity, how many Guinness drinkers do we have here? All right, quite a few brothers and sisters in arms. <laughs> She's got one good arm, so she can actually drink this. It's okay. <laughs> this isn't the drinking arm that's gone, Nancy. Thank God for that. Right. Guinness will tell you that the pouring of a perfect pint of Guinness takes 119.5 seconds. And when you're thirsty, that is actually a very long time. <laughs> the reason why it takes 119.5 seconds, Guinness will tell you, is that to pour the perfect pint of Guinness, you've got to take the pint glass, fill it to, uh, to about two thirds full, while the glass is actually at a 45 degree angle. You put it down on the countertop and you let, let the little nitrogen bubbles find their way to some Guinness Wonderland, which creates a lovely creamy head. And then when the creamy head is settled, you will then take the glass up, top it up carefully, and hand it with love and attention to the drooling customer. <laughs> okay? That takes 119.5 seconds. Now what has that got to do with the brand experience? The brand experience is, what is the emotional impact beyond the product that you are creating? So let's listen in on a conversation that's happening back in Ireland between two people who are inside an Irish pub. And this has real relevance to you in terms of brand experience that you are creating. We've got two people in an Irish pub. One of them is Jake, an American who's visiting Ireland, does not know it takes 119.5 seconds to pour the perfect pint of Guinness. He's visiting with his Irish friend named Finbar. And Finbar actually happens to be from the north of Ireland, so he speaks a little bit like this. All right, so let's listen in on the conversation as they've ordered two pints of Guinness and it has relevance for you in terms of the brand experience. Jake speaks first, not knowing that Guinness takes a period to be prepared and presented. So Jake speaks first and he goes, Hey, Finn Barr, how long does it take to pour a pint of Guinness? You know, a pilgrim could die of first here are waiting. <laughs> Jake, you're a heathen man, a heathen. Do you not know that Guinness is a cultural experience and it's also a work of art? You cannot, Jake, you cannot rush a work of art no matter how much you want to. Jake, think about it. Think about that guy who was painting the Sistine Chapel. Oh, Michelangelo, yeah, Michelangelo. Can you imagine when he was painting the Sistine Chapel? If he got a phone call from his patron, the Pope, and his new iPhone, and the Pope, he says to Michelangelo, he says, Hey, you Mikey, you Mikey, how long does it take to, to paint uh, the ceiling? You're only painting a ceiling. Why is it taking you so long? You would not have been too impressed, me lad. Not too impressed at all. And it's the same with this black magic that we're waiting on here. Guinness isn't just a product, it's an experience. And that me boy up, and that ladies and gentlemen of Windy City, is what you've got to offer your customers with your product presentation, with your keynote, or with your facilitation. You've got to offer them an experience and something beyond just the core message. Jake, think about it. Harley Davidson does not sell motorcycles. Harley Davidson sells the sense of rebellion openness, the noise of the travel. Jake, think about it. Starbucks does not sell coffee. Starbucks sells camaraderie, friendliness, a sense of community. And Jake, think about it. Apple does not sell phones. Apple sells hip, chic, modern, and contemporary. What is a Jake that you present or offer to your customers? What is it, members of Windy City, 
that you present to your clients, your customers that differentiates you from your competition. And if you don't know what that is or what you want it to be, you have very little chance of actually succeeding. Now, I do think that if Jake and Finbar were here today, Finbar would actually be saying to everyone here in this room, he would be saying, Wundi City members, what is it that you offer your customers, your clients, that differentiates you from your competition? And, you and Finbar turns to Jake and he says, Jake, what's the brand experience? What's the customer experience that you are creating? And if you're not clear what the customer experience is or the brand experience that you want to create, you're going to have difficulty in creating it. Now, I would suggest that if that Irish guy Finbar was here today, the question he would be asking you is, what is the brand experience that you are creating? What is the customer experience that you are creating that will help to differentiate you from your com competition and from other people in your community. That basically is the question you've got to ask yourself. What, and it goes back to what do I want to be famous for? I want to be famous within my community with my customer set for whatever it is. Great customer service, friendly customer service. Now I do believe that if that Irish barman Finbar was here today, the question he will be asking you is, what is the brand experience? What is the customer experience that you are offering your customers, your clients, that is differentiating you from your competition.